Hey folks, Tracy again from RX Performance, Tracy Lewis Performance and Overkill Motorsport, or Overkill uh, Superchargers. Um, we've got a 2018 Ford Escape with the uh, 1.5 liter EcoBoost that's replaced the older 1.6 liter. Doing the catch can install today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to set this one up with a remote drain. So we're just putting a barb in the bottom, sliding the hose down through slots that are already in the belly pan. We'll cut it to length and then we'll push on the uh, drain. And then to remote drain, you'll just need to put a drain pan underneath it, open the drain, let it drain when it's not running, engine hot, and uh, that will uh, make it a convenient whenever oil is changed or doing it in between times. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the can here. There is no mounting bracket because of how tight things are, but it slides right down in here about perfect. We're going to need to, of course, orient the Let me get another press it wrench. We just have to loosen, orient them where we want them, tighten them back up so they seal. One of them going to that point toward. can down in place. It's not going to vibrate. It's held nicely there. You need to pull it up. You can if you wish to drain it without having the remote drain. So now we're going to go over each of these connections on the PCV system. First we have our clean or our fresh side. As you can see there's a flow sensor that's in line on this actually a map sensor uh, measures suction or pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to retain this stock line here. We're going to have a fitting that goes into it and that's going to be one of the outlets, the in-boost evacuation suction outlet to the can. That'll have a check valve in line on it. We're going to then take and we're going to draw our clean, fresh filtered air just past the intake air temp sensor in the main intake uh, pipe coming off the air filter box. So we're going to first disconnect this. We're going to take the pliers on the spring clamp. That's how you disconnect it. We're going to put the large fitting here into this and make sure that that clamp is clamping down and sealing it. And now we can run our second outlet. We will take a hose cutter, short piece of hose. We're going to use the aluminum billet check valve. We're blowing through it. We need this to flow away from the can. So push the short piece of hose on there. Go on one of the outlets here. Little WD-40 or some spit 
we'll lubricate that to go on easier. And cut another section of hose. And we're going to go from this fitting we just put on there to the check valve and make sure the check valve is flowing away from the can. Now we've left this open, so we're going to take our billet o-ring plug we're going to put a little bit of grease here any type of grease will work lubricate the o-rings so they don't roll off and this is going to push into here and that is going to seal that up and look nice and professional Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the foul or dirty side line. And this is just a push, press to release, squeeze to release norma fitting. We're not cutting any of the factory hoses. This is all plug and play, so you put these aside. Ziploc bag works nice. If you ever want to return it to stock, you have everything to go right back to stock. Set that aside for now. We're going to take uh, our billet adapter with the 90 degree line. And that is going to go into the crankcase side. Pushes in, seals inside there. We're going to take and this is going to run directly to the center of the can because we're taking our crankcase papers out of this portion of the crankcase, the cam cover or valve cover. And this is going to run directly to the center of the can. No check valve in line on that. So we're going to want to measure our hose so we get it the right length. We don't want it to struck the fitment of the engine cover. <laughs> Cut it off. Slide it on here. No clamps are needed on these lines. And we're going to slide it on here. Okay. Got half the insulation complete. Next, we're going to, and I've got to put a different fitting in this one. Put the 90 on it. A little bit of grease on the O-ring. It's going to pop into here, and this now will be our primary outlet that provides the evacuation using intake manifold vacuum, the suction to evacuate when you're not in boost. This one now will provide the suction when you're in boost. So same thing, we're going to cut a short piece of hose. We're going to use the high pressure that has the black fittings on it check valve. They all have an arrow. The arrows have to flow away from the can. Blow through it both ways. Make sure that it's operating properly. And we're going to slide that on. going to connect to this fitting here. Now, you need to make sure
pan. There we have the catch can is all done. So now we want to test that this engine cover is going to fit. Since we're a little bit bulkier here, the engine cover is not going to go down all the way. We're going to be putting our clean side separator. Let's see. Oh, right here. Again, a little bit of grease on the O-rings. Now this is where our clean air is going to enter. So that's going to go in and just push down in and that will hold this in place. Now we're going to need to bring a hose from it. And we're going to be drawing that fresh air in. You may find it either underneath. Now when you need to add oil in the future, just give this a twist clockwise, pull straight up and you can add your engine oil. When you're done, put it in place and push it straight down. All right, we're gonna go into here. And drill and tap. Cut this to length. So we're gonna put some grease again here and smear it on the drill bit so it traps any of the plastic shavings from drilling in there. And we're going to go in just post flow of the IET sensor. Same thing, you'll have a 3 ace NPT tap that's included with the kit. You will need a half inch drill bit that we don't provide. We're putting the grease on this again, even though there will be very little shavings. I like to take a vice grips, put it in the end of it. You're only going to cut these threads about halfway down on the tab. want to go too far or otherwise the fitting will fit in loose in the threads. Again only about halfway up the threads to the tap. Remove the tap. As you can see it's caught all the filings. Screw in the straight barb fitting. It's a half inch barb by 3 ace NPT nail. Now we also include a black plastic tapered thread cap 
that if you wish to put this back to stock, that will screw right in there and look like it came from the factory, so you don't have to worry about drilling that hole. And this is the only place we drill. Ford did a nice job on this intake. It is a true cold air intake with a cone filter on it. That's impressive. I'm going to take a deep well socket here so it can get on this. Screw that down in tight. NPT is National Pipe Thread, it's a tapered thread. So it seals as you screw it down. We've got one more connection here. Put this in and installation is complete. With the exception of we've got to cut the drain to length which I'll go underneath and do now and install the drain. And that covers it. This is one of the quicker, easier installs. And I'm going to drop this underneath this line, give it a little cleaner look. And for personal preference, you can do any of that. complete. That's the installation 2018 uh, Escape with the 5 point or 1.5 liter EcoBoost and now we have uh, we'll be preventing up to 85 percent of the intake valve coking. We're increasing fuel economy because we're separating and trapping 95 percent plus of any of the oil mist and other contaminants and now that we've converted to two evacuation suction sources. One is the intake manifold, the other one is the turbo inlet tube. We should have uh, uh, much longer engine life as we're flushing and removing these contaminants before they have a chance to settle and mix with the oil. Thank you.